Yes, I'm going to get to play Forza Horizon 5. What? Graphics driver problem? What's up with that? Let's see how to fix it. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To and deviating just a bit from the uh, content that I have posted previously. Uh, yes, I am an enterprise admin, architect, cloud uh, practitioner. However, I do enjoy playing games from time to time. And with release of Forza, Forza Horizon 5, this was a game that definitely caught my attention. I really enjoyed uh, Forza Horizon 4 and play it quite often. Uh, so was excited about Horizon 5. However, uh, after my download this morning, I uh, realized I had an error message that popped up uh, about the graphics driver. So I wanted to just post a quick video uh, how to resolve this issue. I'm running an NVIDIA RTX uh, Quadro 4000 uh, graphics card. So I have more of a workstation class machine, so it has the Quadro series. Uh, so I wanted to maybe just go over with you guys how to quickly download the latest driver. Uh, so modern games are more often than not checking for things to proactively resolve issues. So if you have an older graphics driver, most likely you need to upgrade that uh, to uh, proactively avoid any issues related to that graphics driver. So I want to show you how to uh, quickly download the, the latest driver, at least if you're on an NVIDIA series card, install it and see how that resolves the Forza Horizon 5 launch issue. Okay guys, as mentioned previously, I have an NVIDIA based graphics card. So to upgrade the driver, you just navigate to NVIDIA.com and then in the upper right hand corner, you will see the drivers menu. So click that. And here you will see the NVIDIA driver downloads. Now they um, here ask you to select the type of card that you have. How do you find that? Well, in Windows, it's as easy as visiting your device manager. Now you can easily get to device manager if you just go to your run menu and you can type in dev management.msc and that's d-e-v-m-g-m-t.msc and I'll, I'll put that in the description and once once there just expand your display adapters and you will see the model of display adapter that you're currently running in your pc or workstation and as you can see here i have an nvidia quadro rtx 4000 so that is the driver that i'm looking to download make sure you select the operating system I want the just stable production branch. I'm just looking for the updated graphics driver. And then simply hit search. In that search field, uh, it'll, it should uh, bring up the latest, the latest adapter for your graphics driver. So with that, uh, just simply click download. And you should have the download begin for your graphics driver. So I'm going to click agree and download and wait for that to finish. So once the graphics driver finishes downloading, uh, it basically is just a self-extracting executable. So I have double clicked that and it will bring up a dialog box that basically asks you where do you want to extract these files to. So I'm changing to my uh, bigger just storage volume. Uh, so I have selected my D drive, but this is wherever you want to extract it. You can accept the default, uh, which assumes the directory that you actually have the file downloaded. So I'm just going to click OK and we're going to let the uh, new driver extract. This process doesn't take too long but again it is around uh, whatever uh, version you guys download. Uh, mine is around 550 megabytes. So. And I had to pull this installation back up into my video frame that I'm capturing. So now it's just a, the simple next next 
finish process. So basically we're just going to go through, accept the EULA and install the new graphics driver. So I'm just going to hit agree and continue. Uh, we don't want to really do anything advanced. We just simply want to install the new driver. So I'm going to accept the express recommended option. So we select next and preparing for install. So what I'll do is I will pause the video for uh, just a few moments while the graphics driver uh, finishes installation will pick up from. So what you didn't see was uh, just a quick blink of the uh, screen on my side. The uh, screen will go uh, black for a couple of seconds while the new graphics driver is being initialized, installed, or replaced over the uh, previous driver. Also guys, I closed the box and what I did not show uh, was that there was no prompt to reboot uh, in Windows. Even though that's the case, I highly recommend that you just reboot your system and make sure that everything comes up. There's no lingering in-memory processes or other files that may be uh, lingering that are referencing the old driver. So it's just always best practice with Windows uh, to reboot. And hopefully we'll get different results this time. So guys, I am back and I have to say I did not have the results that I was hoping for. So I downloaded the uh, production branch, uh, which I thought would be the stable branch, the one to install. However, I'm still getting the same error, although the version codes now show much, much closer. So I'm assuming this .9613 is of the new feature branch. So what I'm going to do is download and install using the same process I just showed you guys and I'm going to see if that works. Well, okay, I am very happy to report that upgrading to the very latest driver set, which is that new feature branch and not just the latest production stable branch of the NVIDIA driver for the RTX cards actually worked for me. And once I had installed those drivers, I no longer had the error message when trying to launch Forza Horizon 5. So I just wanted to give you guys just a, a, a look at the uh, driver version, uh, what it shows in my NVIDIA control panel. Uh, so hopefully this will be helpful if you guys are trying to uh, troubleshoot and see uh, what driver you have installed, which uh, driver version. Uh, is working. So in my uh, NVIDIA uh, control panel, I see version 49649. So that is currently the version that's working for me uh, with Forza Horizon 5. So hopefully that will help you guys out if you uh, run into the same type of issues. When you launch Forza Horizon 5, it says your driver is not what it expects it, expects it to be. Well, this is Brandon Lee, and once again, a little bit different video today, uh, taking a look at Forza Horizon 5 and some troubleshooting, uh, looking at errors that you may receive uh, having to do with your graphics driver if you're trying to play this uh, very, very new game at this point. Well, guys, hit like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for further videos. See you guys later.